Welcome to the Chemistry Laboratory. This video gives an overview of laboratory safety. Your instructor and your laboratory manual may give additional safety directions applicable to the experiments you will be performing. To ensure that you have a safe laboratory experience, please read the laboratory each week before coming to lab and take notes during the pre-laboratory lecture. To enter the laboratory, students must wear the appropriate clothing. Beginning the first day of lab, everyone must have approved goggles, long sleeve shirts which cover the midriff, long pants, and shoes with closed hose and closed heels. The entire foot must be covered by the shoe. No sandals or flip-flops are allowed. You should have as little exposed skin as possible. Anyone not wearing the appropriate attire will not be allowed into lab. In lab, do not eat, drink, chew gum, apply makeup, handle contact lenses, or use tobacco. Work only at your assigned desk. Do not perform experiments other than those which are scheduled for that day. No horseplay will be tolerated. Most organic materials, including you, your hair, and your clothing, are flammable. Be careful not to set loose clothing or hair on fire. Know the location of fire extinguishers, safety showers, and eyewash stations. Always pay attention to your surroundings in the laboratory. Be careful with water hoses and leaky faucets. Blood is always a sure sign of bad laboratory technique. Any injury, no matter how trivial, should be reported to the lab instructor. Check all glassware for cracks, sharp edges, or star cracks before using it. Hot glass looks exactly like cold glass. Good communication with your lab partner can help you avoid injury. Notify the lab instructor of any spills which occur during the lab. Minor spills can be cleaned up by students, but do not try to clean up reagent or solvent spills yourself. Some of these materials require special care in their disposal. Clean up any spills immediately. Throw away trash in the appropriate containers. Follow the directions of your instructor for discarding waste from that day's work. These instructions must be followed carefully. Disposing of chemical wastes in the wrong way may result in dangerous reactions. Always ask if you are unsure. Broken glass should be discarded in the designated waste containers. Never throw glass away in the trash cans. Do not remove reagent bottles from their assigned places. Always recap reagent bottles. Some reagents decompose when exposed to the atmosphere for a period of time. Do not stick anything into the reagent bottles. If a spatula is provided for that purpose, be sure that the same spatula is used in the same bottle. If you pour out or weigh out too much of any reagent or solvent from the bottle, do not put the excess back into the bottle. This will risk introducing contaminants into the main supply of the reagent. Unused or excess reagents should be disposed of in the appropriate waste container. Keep the balances clean. Do not weigh chemicals directly on the balance pan. Use a weigh boat, beaker, or weighing paper. Immediately clean up any chemicals which are spilled on the balance. Do not leave stray pieces of paper or glassware around the balances. When an experiment calls for water, use deionized water provided in the wash bottles on the lab benches unless the directions specifically call for tap water. Use only tap water in hot water baths. Never add water to acid. Never add boiling chips or activated carbon to hot liquids. Fume hoods are used when a procedure may produce smoke or strong odors. Keep the fume hoods clean. Do not leave weighing paper lying around in the hood after you're finished with it. Clean up your bench before leaving. Be sure that the gas, water, and electric hot plate stirrers are turned off. Return all glassware, hardware, and equipment to their designated locations. Wash your hands after leaving the laboratory or any time you think that chemicals may have come in contact with your hands. Following these safety rules will help you and your lab members have a safe and educational laboratory experience. 